Hello Libra, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your Archangel Messages reading for the sign of Libra. And it is from now to the end of April 2020, as I am releasing these a little early. <laughs> so we'll see what we have. I'm starting with Archangel Gabriel. So what is the message for Libra, please, our lovely Librans? Now to the end of April 2020. Now I will say Libra, some of these messages are very specific. So just take what resonates with you and leave the rest. Slightly different from other oracle cards, some of them. So, you know, Archangel Gabriel in particular can be very in terms of expressive um, energies, also occupations. So journalism, writing, that type of thing is the messenger. Yeah. Interesting. We have recognition coming your way. You and your accomplishments are receiving appreciation and honours. Now, it is a time, certainly in terms of money and career aspects, for appraisals end of year appraisals isn't it Libra so some of you might be getting some good news or recognition for the work that you've been doing your accomplishments so that could be it could be linked to awards um, also passing maybe college qualifications or higher education professional qualifications that type of thing to advance yourself uh, beautiful energy there And we also have expressed your inner truth. Your creative work shines brightest when it reflects your genuine feelings and thoughts. I feel for some of you it is saying in order to advance yourself, in order to get the recognition that you deserve, that could be in terms of money, that could be in terms of awards um, or uh, qualifications like I said. It might well be you need to align yourself with something that you do very well, something that you're good at, that you enjoy. Very Eight of Pentacles energy. Okay, Archangel Raphael, what is the message for Libra, please? Yeah, I mean, Libra, I did say there's practical messages here. We have exercise is key. <laughs> um, dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for motivating me and guiding me to an exercise program that fits my schedule, interests and budget. So, sometimes this can be healthy body leads to a healthy mind. Yeah, I'm going to pull one more. I mean, Archangel Raphael is the healer, but it's also to do with our health. So let's see what else we have. Any other message for Libra, please? Archangel Raphael, any other message for Libra? Oh, there was one there. Two. Yeah, we have hydration, drink more water. <laughs> Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for motivating and guiding me to drink more water so that my health, energy and appetite stay at optimum levels throughout each day. Yeah. And, wow, the answer is yes. Dear Archangel Raphael, please help me trust my feelings as the accurate bar barometer of truth. I feel for some of you, you're being told yes. Might well be to do with whatever this expressing your truth, recognition is towards. It might well be things falling into place behind the scenes that the universe has engineered. You know, that hidden blessings type energy. Um, yeah, we'll see what else we get, Libra. Okay, Archangel Michael. So, the, the warrior angel very much asks us to be in our power. Um, the angel of protection as well. So, Archangel Michael, what is the message please for Libra? Now to the end of April 2020, what does Libra need to hear please? Please. 
We have a sense of humour. My prayer. So it is whatever the prayer means to you. It could be an affirmation. Thank you for helping me see the humour in this situation so I can lovingly laugh at human nature. I am willing to view my experience in a new light in order to attract love and healing energy. If some of you have fallen out of routine or daily patterns, Libra, um, could be to do with your health, could be a situation, may have pulled you off track. If you've been focusing too much on one area of your life, this is very much a getting back getting back to looking on the bright side of things now, however tough the situation's been, in order to overcome it. Sometimes we talk about laughing at the devil, don't we? Um, because it reduces the impact of that situation on our psyche. Okay. And finally, Libra, Archangel Metatron. So the most powerful Archangel was involved in the creation of the world. Asks us to fulfill our potential, but also helps us overcome obstacles, find solutions. So what do we have? Archangel Metatron, what is the message for Libra? Now to the end of April 2020. Message for Libra, please. Thank you. Oh, wow. You're being told to look for signs from spirit with love. That's what I'm feeling, Libra. There is some divine orchestration going on behind the scenes. But I feel you need to almost take action now to align, to make the most of whatever these signs are. It could well be coincidences, synch coincidences um, synchronicities, uh, conversations that may well give yourself a different perspective or open up opportunity for you. It can also be about listening to your intuition. Um, sometimes we can open a magazine and there is a message there that suddenly means something to us. And it is just meant to be that sign to spur us forward. You are absolutely being guided by spirit. Okay. Let's just move these over a little. So I am just pulling three cards for this reading, Libra, and I am using the gold. <laughs> Rider weight tarot deck. I kind of figured that given we're doing an Archangel messages reading, the gold deck is probably appropriate. <laughs> so we will look at, firstly, three cards. The issue or challenge you need help from the Archangels on. Advice from the Archangels. And outcome, should you take that advice? It won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you. So let's start with the first card, the challenge, the issue you need help or advice from the Archangels on. What's the challenge for Libra, please? Now till the end of April 2020. To do with the cards on the table. We have the lovers. I'm going to pull one more card for this, Libra. Six of cups the advice from the archangels we have the eight of cups and the outcome we have the ten of swords I'm going to pull one more strength I'm going to pull one more for this, Libra. One more for the challenge. Okay, the moon. Bottom of the deck. I don't always look, but I have looks. I'm putting it down. We have the Knight of Wands. Beautiful energy. 
And it's an empowering energy, the Knight of Wands. So some of you may have felt that you've been challenged in love and relationships. The moon is a card of all is not what it seems. There could have been things going on. Maybe some things have come to light for you. Sometimes they can talk about communication problems in this energy in terms of relationships. Could be to do with a Pisces or a Gemini. But you see, the moon card is hidden blessings, Libra. And that's what I was saying to you before. I really felt the energies here, things going on behind the scenes that you don't have the full picture of here. Um, but you're being asked to just trust, trust your instincts on what you need to do now in order to move forward in a situation. Because certainly with, you know, certainly with the moon card, this can be not all is as it seems. Now, like I said, there could be somebody off it could be somebody offering glove somebody who you used to know offering glove like i said could be also a pisces or a gemini those can be the cards as well but the because it's an issue or a challenge i'm kind of feeling you've been challenged in terms of relationships and there's a deceptive quality when the moon appears you don't see the big picture you don't have full knowledge of exactly what's going on here but you know something's not right this is very much about trusting your instinct all is not what it seems when the moon energy appears. If you've struggled in terms of relationships, Libra, I mean, the lover's card can be a choice or a decision that you need to make. You know, we have the wonderful angel Raphael here as well, God's healer. This can be about connecting to your higher self to find happiness again as well. To overcome what challenge you faced. And again, the cup's energy is very intuitive, finding that happy place within in order to move forward in your external environment. Very much about trusting your intuition to make choices, decisions, based on whatever challenge you faced in terms of relationships in particular. Some of you don't know in your external environment how to move forward. And this is very much it is trusting your intuition from within. That's how you find that path forward. It can also be linked, like I said, to synchronicity. There are signs that you're being given by the universe in order to understand how to move forward in a situation. So it is very much looking for that too, for some of you. And the sense of humor from Archangel Michael, however challenging this is, you know, sometimes when you just allow yourself to smile, allow yourself to... Um, look on the bright side of things, which is the Six of Cups. Reconnect to your happiness. I feel that that is where you find yourself moving forward. I feel that's when the, the decision is easier for you. Because the Eight of Cups is somebody who is walking away from something that hasn't been fulfilling, hasn't lived up to the promise or expectation that they hoped it would. They could have been disappointed, let down in this situation. I certainly feel for you, and this is spirit, if you are deciding to walk away from something, I certainly feel that will allow you to move on from whatever this was. The Eight of Cups is an intuitive energy as well. You know, we have the moon in the picture here at the top left. This is somebody, again, who is trusting their intuition from within. They know deep down what they want to do. It is just carrying it out. And this is somebody who is very much taking control of a situation, moving on from something that could have been quite emotional. I mean, we have the Cups energy, we have the moon energy. Like I said, Pisces and Gemini may play a part. Uh, we have the card of Leo here as well, card of Sagittarius, so those might be people in your life. But I certainly feel you're, be you're choosing to turn your back in a situation, or some of you have, that has been emotional. You know, and very hurtful. 
but there is positive change here when you own your power you know when you connect your strength your power your courage from within you know the strength card the card of Leo is our own inner strength our own inner power our resolve to overcome obstacles in our external environment our resolve to face our fears and that is what the strength card does it allows us to face our fears and overcome them you have two eights in the reading as well you've got a knight there is positive change here I feel when you take action when you are in your power when you don't back down from a situation but you deal with it because the ten of swords is where you've been hurt could have been hurt more than once by a situation a person or people but you see the clouds are part being pushed away by the sun rising in the distance there is a new day a new dawn Libra and the ten is an ending in tarot there is a completion here you have the power to bring an end to draw a line under a situation a period of your life that has been hurtful and I feel for some of you it was in love you may have been deceived in love let down in love uh, it could have been an emotional situation that you had to face in love where you struggled to reconnect to who you are but you are doing that and when you do reconnect to who you are your strength your power the, the lovers card the six of cups that's when you allow yourself to draw a line under a situation and bring positive change and you know the knight of wands is somebody who will put something behind them they don't look back they are charging forward to new opportunities they have found that ignition ignition of their passions their desires going for uh, finding direction on a new path and there's a sense of growth here you see that the one that they own that they have on their hand is is growing it's blossoming um, they're just riding with it now charging ahead there is a big shift they are in control they are in their power um, and I just feel for some of you direction unfolds even new opportunities new passions new connections may be coming into your life Libra could be a Sagittarius or a Leo maybe for some of you um, this could be a person coming into your life offering you a new opportunity if it's love it could be chemistry and um, if it's to do with business if you're focusing more on business and there could be some opportunity or a refocus of your energies to further yourself on that front um, heading for success you know there's a level of success aligned with the Knight of Wands as well it's very powerful energy but it's a big message of taking action taking control and getting back on the horse for some of you yeah and I'm just gonna this did kind of yeah to, yeah exactly and I do feel for some of you there is a new path unfolding like I said the Knight of Wands is finding direction finding uh, following his passions having that drive charging forward and um, the Knights they can represent change in tarot they can represent direction as well but they can also represent rescuers and I just feel as an energy this is you Libra you're done with an emotional situation you know and you are putting it behind you towards a new beginning you know a new growth a new opportunity a new connection maybe for some of you the ace of pentacles is almost kind of like a door opening now this could be where you might be focusing on just getting more firm foundations in your life you know it could be as simple as that the aces are all about potential the very beginnings of a journey they represent new beginnings but they are the seed card of potential it's up to you to make them happen certainly the ones energy the the pentacles are the work energies where you have to put in effort work uh, determination perseverance this is offered to you by the hand of God the divine the universe saying there is a blessing here being offered to you now where there were hidden blessings I feel for some of you there is a gift at the end of this journey that opens to a new pathway here that could be in the form of a new person you know we build our lives and um, a solid connection may be coming into your life could be this knight of wands who you can build your life around you know that new connection that may come into your life and um, this can also be very good news in terms of getting recognition on
bonuses, pay rises, um, title changes, promotions, you know, that can be the recognition in this level on business and career as well, Libra. Whatever this is for you, it promises real growth. It is a time of getting firm foundations under your foot, restabilizing your life and doing the practical things that you need to do, the hard work, the focus, in order to bring real growth into your life, long-term sustained growth. Um, so like I said, this could be an opportunity, it could be some news in terms of advancement on career, but I also feel there could be a connection with a person, a Sagittarius or a Leo maybe, that just you can build your life on. This is a beautiful energy. Good news in terms of loans and mortgages as well, Libra. If you're walking away from a home or there's a division of assets here, I feel that this is some good news in if you've applied for loans and new mortgages, um, that type of thing. That can be this as well. I'm going to I'm going to pull an Archangel Animal Oracle card. Oh, that just turned over, so let's go with this. So Libra, we have Prepare for Change, the Raven, Archangels, Azrael and Bok P. And I think there is change here, but I think it's change that you are initiating. You know, we have the Eight, the Eight, the Night, the New Path. There is absolutely some change happening here in your life, but I think it comes from this, you taking action. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.